Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I will show you some examples what you can do with Adobe InDesign. First of all, in InDesign, you always work with images and text. And InDesign gives you so much control over how you would like to work with images. You can create frames and change the content inside the frame easily. Or you can create layers and put images behind text. Or you can even build more elements on top of each other. And InDesign gives you control to be able to select elements between, for example, in this case, the text and the background image and to be able to make this change what you can see on my screen. So it's really easy to, to work in InDesign. And just another example, if you want to change the size of an image, you just need to use a keyboard shortcut command, or you can also turn uh, images around or rotate them around. And if you want to rotate the text also into the same position, InDesign will help you to find alignment between the two elements by using the smart guides as you can see on the right side it shows that same little icon if it's in uh, the same angle i can even uh, rotate or i can even reflect images so i can drag it on the other side and then it becomes reflected or i can also add corner radius so rounded corners on images. Again, very simple to do in InDesign. I just click here on this little uh, yellow rectangle and then I add the radius. So I can see on the fly when I change the, the corners of an image. Um, we can also do lots of useful options in, in InDesign. For example, if I start to resize these images, I resize them, but also the content will change. It's called auto fit. It's an option in InDesign. And I uh, can also show you another example, the gap tool. The gap tool is amazing because with the gap tool, you don't interact with the images itself. You interact with the uh, gap between the images. That's also an amazing thing. And you have so many different keyboard shortcuts to use this tool. If you want to place in images into InDesign, you can use the very handy mini bridge panel. Mini bridge is like Adobe bridge, which is a sidecar application, but in mini bridge, the advantage is that you don't need to even leave uh, InDesign to be able to place in new images. So for example, I selected these images and I drag and drop them onto the, the page. And here on the page, I can draw a rectangle and then using the Gridify feature divided into six uh, elements or six parts like this. And then when I let go my uh, mouse, the images will appear and they are automatically placed into frames. There are also lots of interactions between images and text. So for example, the text wrap option, if I have an image and I place it into uh, InDesign like this, and I draw a frame for it, and then I go to text wrap and choose the option to, to wrap the text around the image, you can see it automatically found the edges of the image. And if I make some changes here, the text can easily find an even closer match around the image. So that's a really useful option. If I place it here in the middle, you can still see the text will wrap around the image. There are lots of options for type as well. So for example, if you have columned layout in a frame, you can go to the text frame options. And there are some, some really useful options here like balance columns, which will balance uh, the columns. So it will end at the same um, edge. So you can see this is using balance columns. It's really useful. So you don't need to find uh, the end of the frame. InDesign will automatically align the, the columns together. Or also another thing which you can do with columns is to select a part of the text in the columns and tell InDesign to span that text uh, on both of the columns. So it's still in columns, that text, but now it's spanned across uh, the two columns. 
And in InDesign, we also have lots of interactive features. You can place video, you can create buttons, you can create animation. Let me just show you a quick example of an animation. So there's an element I selected and I choose a preset for it. I will choose fly in from uh, top, for example. And I select another element like this flower and I choose for that another preset. I'm going to use spin on that one. And if I want to see this, how it looks like the animation on my page, I just need to preview it. So as you can see, InDesign gives you lots of options and not just for print, but also for web and media. And uh, I show you another example. This is a an interactive magazine saved out from InDesign with this page turn effect. Again, this is something that you can create and then use on your website as an interactive version of your magazine. So even if you work for print, in InDesign you can easily switch to web and do both of the versions in the same document. So you don't need to work twice. Thank you for attention and I hope you are interested in learning InDesign. If you want to learn more about our courses, just come to www.academyclass.com.